Hey, Dr. Simpson here. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about some cavities today and how we look for them and kind of what a cavity is and um, the different things we um, use to find them. So we have a younger patient here um, and this is the radiograph we found uh, clinically when looking with our eyes and, and tools during our normal exam. We found um, everything to look pretty good and healthy. Uh, a little bit of staining on some of the teeth, but nothing major. Uh, once we got our radiographs and we kind of dove in a little bit deeper, uh, we start to find lots of cavities. And so when we take x-rays for your cleanings, what we look for is anything in between the teeth because we can only see so much um, with our eyes during our exam and there's a lot of tooth structure that goes missed. So if you look at the x-rays here, you kind of got this nice shell around the tooth and that bright bar that goes around there is, is the patient's enamel for the tooth. And in between here, we see these dark triangles and these dark areas, um, which is where the teeth typically come together um, these are cavities that have started and, and that tooth structure is starting to break down because of bacteria that's in there. Um, it's pretty common to see that they kind of go back to back like that because that bacteria is there and it's, it's kind of an intimate area. So typically two teeth get affected. So we have some tools that we can use to kind of feel around. To, obviously we want a tooth to feel nice and hard and glossy. Um, when it starts to get a little um, kind of porous or sticky, then we know something else is going on. And that's when we can use some x-rays to kind of aid us um, or just also the visuals. Occasionally we can find what's called an incipient cavity and essentially it's a very small start of a cavity that's not actually active. Um, on the x-ray, it's typically a little bit smaller. It still might be a little dark in color, but it doesn't quite penetrate that enamel bar that we talked about. Um, once that, that dark triangle gets to this enamel line, um, we want to fill it because that next layer is a little, it's kind of soft and porous and we can't really control the spread anymore. Um, but if it's only contained to the enamel, we can use uh, nutrients like fluoride um, and, and work on home care such as flossing and mouth, mouth rinse um, to stop the progression of that cavity. To repair a cavity that's in between the teeth, um, we have to use local anesthetic to help put the tooth to sleep so that there's no discomfort during the procedure. Um, and we remove essentially from the top part of the tooth downwards because these are in between the teeth. So we have to access it from, from one direction and the best direction that's the most successful is to come from the chewing surface of the tooth. And we make a little bit of a box area um, and then fill that up with a tooth colored uh, material that's made out of resin. Thanks for talking cavities with me today. See you guys later.